Today we're messing around with sound. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff, like for example, take the vocals out of a song so you could create your own karaoke with the songs for family get-togethers, that kind of thing, <laughs> and make some misheard lyrics so you could just add your own lyrics in there. <laughs> what a laugh that would be. <laughs> or better yet, what if we take the vocals out of a song? I'm going to show you how to do that as well, or take part or some of the vocals and use them in your own video clips. Let's take a look. So here we have a new project open on my top left here on my media. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to click on downloads. Now these are the sound files that I have. I'm going to type in game because it says game something. Uh, this, this track is game, game to win. So I'm going to drop this down onto my timeline right here. Um, I'm going to drop the sound down a little bit, just, just to drop the volume down just a touch because it's a bit high and I don't want it to sound that that, that much. Now I'm, I'll, I'll let, play this, so about the, if you go to the right, about the eight, eight second mark you get the vocals. So let's play this. First time got a game to win, yeah. never take a nail because I play to win. There we go. Perfect, right? So we've got vocals coming in about the eight second mark. So let's tick that off. So make sure this is selected. Now we can either double click this or click on edit. Now if it doesn't take you automatically to your audio selections here and it says video audio, just make sure you click on the audio selections. So now in our audio menu, you can see we've got, we can fade it, we can trim it, we can do all kinds of things. But the thing we want to do, if we keep going down, is go to this one called audio editor. Now this is the program that's actually inside PowerDirector itself. This comes with PowerDirector, so there's no, if you've just bought PowerDirector, you should have this with it. So you'll get this window turn up like this. And the top right here, you'll see you've got edit multiple channels and edit a single channel. So a single channel is like this, you can't touch this one now and edit multiple channels, so it's left and right. Now what we want to do is we want to remove the vocals. So here you can see we can change all kinds of things on here. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, it says vocal removal. So click it once and this little window opens up. Now what's happened is it's actually applied the result now to our file. It says here applied result. It's already there waiting. We don't need to click apply. We can just click on preview and listen. So let's have a go. Let's pause it right there. So we're at the 10 second mark. There should have been vocals, no vocals. Now if we click on the original audio here and then click preview, it'll, it will hear the vocals. Play to win. My will is strong, my name is... Applied result. No vocals. Very cool, right? So just click on apply and then click on OK. It'll take us back here to our track. Let's bring this down so we can see it a little bit more. And now we've got this little green icon on the bottom left here and it says vocal removal. So now we've actually removed the vocals. So it, what we can do with this actually now is you can bring in your own text and we can put a nice background, some flashing lights or something, and you can create your own karaoke song because <laughs> we've already took the vocals out. How very cool. Brilliant, right? How cool is that? So there you go, you can make your own karaoke just by taking that thing out. However, let's take it one step further and let's do something better. So I'm going to click on the Control Z just once. It'll bring our audio clip back to its original state that we want it in. We still got it selected. Our audio menu is still available and I'm going to go down all the way now to Edit in Audio Director. Now Audio Director is part of the Director 365 suite of programs and it's its own program but because we are in power director we can access it through power director like this so now you can see this is much more advanced kind of thing with the top here we've got express and advanced left and right channels and express now i'm not going to go out over any of these because <laughs> i haven't a clue how most of this stuff works i i don't particularly do sound but However, what we're going to do here is we're going to take out the vocals and we're going to take them out and use them 
ourselves. Now you'd think that it would be in apply effect, which is vocals, but there's actually not in, in here. What you need to go in is edit audio. So click on edit audio. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and it says here vocal removal boost in music which is kind of misleading because actually you can do both so click on this vocal removal and we get this window turn up like this exactly like we had before now it's actually done it for us adjusted the result it's already done but we want to get rid of this the, the, the music and keep the vocals now i'm going to increase the vocal range by just a few decibels. Let's go to about three three decibels, right? There we go. And I'm going to get the music volume. I want to set this to zero infinite, which is zero. And when I preview this, take note here on the bottom here, there's this volume meter here. Watch what happens here. So I'm going to click on preview. And it's playing our song but you can see volume meter is still moving at the beginning of the song that means there's still music coming in there crush i got a game to win yeah. never take a nail because i play to win my will is strong my name is him but we've got the sound the vocals is pretty cool right now i'm going to click on apply this is going to take about 10 15 seconds depending of course on your computer how long it takes to do this now you can actually bring in your own you can bring in your own files, your own music files, and do it on your own music files. Now, I tried this on Frankie Goes to Hollywood, um, Relax, the very old version. And because Holly Johnson sings, it kind of has an echo. And it didn't really do it all that well. You're going to have to do it twice, like I'm doing with this, because we've got this volume meter here, you see. So if I play this, you'll see that volume meter. It still, it still plays. See, it's still playing the music at the beginning. So let's stop that. Go to vocal removal. Click it once more. Take the music volume all the way back to zero, to the, the left-hand side, and then just click apply. Let it do its thing. And now it will have removed all, all music content and all we've got left out is this which is sound of the vocals so if i just click play now you'll notice that the volume meter nothing and then the once the vocals turn up it'll start to come in see crush time got a game to win yeah. never take a nail because i play to win my will is strong my name is him it's fine my eyes got a flame within i when i fail i will prevail yeah. brilliant right now here's the best bit we can actually cut pieces of this vocals and use them in our own project now i'm going to drag the player along because i want to cut these because these made me laugh i'm going to drag it along and you'll, the sound will play as you drag it <laughs> there i'm going to stop it right there and i'm going to just zoom in a little bit something like that now you can see these little bits here in the middle here these are those ooh ah bits and they're so funny when you play it without the sound and just let listen Woo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were funny, but I'm going to cut this little bit out here where it is now, where it actually is here, because this just says game to win. I'm going to drag my playhead right to before where I want it to start, and I'm going to click here, mark it in. Now you notice this has gone all dark now, so I'm going to drag the playhead along. Game to win like this and drag it just past where the clip and I'm going to mark it here which is mark out so what we've actually done is because these have changed colors actually what we've done is we've marked this little bit here and I'm going to cut this with the scissors in the top left you see there it says cut I'm going to cut it and it'll cut this piece of vocal out like so gone perfect what we want to do now is we want to bring that vocal back in. I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to click on New, New Audio File. Leave it as default and click on OK. I'm going to press Control V on my keyboard, and here is that little file that we've just cut out. And if we play this, Hacking the win. Hacking the win. Brilliant, right? Now the thing is about this. The problem, of course, is this has come in. The whole file has come in from PowerDirector 
and if we click on file you'll see all the save areas now are grayed out we can't actually save this now if you brought your file in directly into this program without going through power, power director it would you'd be able to save it and save it as a project as you would your video when you create videos exactly the same thing but because this is power directive come from we can't do this but here's the thing if i click on back here on the top left and i click yes it brings that file that little clip back into here into our timeline so if i click on play I can win. I can win. how cool and now we can use that little bit in our video projects that we'll, if we want to do or anything else that you'd like to do this is the original sound it's still on there. It's still not, this is the original it's still not done anything to that it's just done any, what we had in the timeline and now we've got this little timeline clip very cool and we can do it all anything we want to it just like normal like a normal clip see <laughs> brilliant isn't that just the best give it a try yourself see what you can come up with if you found this video tutorial useful click subscribe give us a like ring that bell to be notified every time i upload new content go check out my channel for all things cyberlink and more that's my rant for today have a great day stay safe people